Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where today you join me where I'm uh, in the Golf R uh, for something which is gonna, this is going to be a very different video but something I've been uh, really looking forward to sharing with you guys. Uh, first of all thank you for all the amazing messages obviously on the uh, RS6 collection and what that means to me. It's been overwhelming, completely overwhelming and I'm so touched and so many messages I've been getting through Instagram obviously on the comments here I know it might not look that I don't reply to comments but I, I look at every single one and I'm taking it all in the whole time it's a lot to process at the moment uh, but thank you from the bottom of my heart I really do appreciate it and my family too uh, but in today's video we're in the golf and something which is completely different and this is well you're going to see it here something I thought but it's all gonna make complete sense now uh, soon sorry <laughs> can't get my words out um, but it's gonna make complete sense and uh, yeah we're gonna have a fun day ahead I'm just gonna vlog the day and we're gonna go with it and we're just gonna enjoy ourselves so let's get cracking all right here we go we are at the destination I explained what was going on today James yep. and this is a very very different video which we're going to see. Well, they can tell that already because I'm dressed like a... They can already see we're in the middle of Richmond Park. We've got the golf, but we've got something else here. And I thought I'd share with this because this is a little bit different. I'm dressed like an absolute... Well, well, no, it's appropriate for what we're no, doing. No, it's appropriate for what we're doing, actually. If we're in uh, Waitrose, 10-4, we may be called... 10-4. And that is... <laughs> None of that nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see what you did. I might have to bleep that out. Not sure how it's going to go. But um, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to show you through something different which I bought which is a bike and then later we're going to see your SV because I've not been in your SV etc. Yeah. We're going to see all of that today. Etc. Etc. Don't know where I'm going with the etc. But I need you to help me here, not with the golf, but with my bike because something which I've bought, should we take it around this way? Then we can show you your bike as well because okay. James, James, James has got his bike down here as well. So he's got a very nice Trek bike. Uh, but this is something which I've bought. I've got no idea on the spec so do not have a go at me but I do know that it costs five grand. I mean, if you told me your bike was five grand, I'd say you're lying. I know. And, do you know what they said? I walked into the shop, Sigma in Hampton, and do you know what I said? I'm after a bike. They said, we've got one more in stock. I thought, I said, you're lying. They said, we're not lying. And they said, you want one this year? Yeah. It's a myth. Uh, yeah, absolute myth. And they just said, when, when's the next one in stock? They said, 2024, could believe it. <laughs> I mean, 2022, I'd believe. 2022, Genuinely out of... 2024, I think they're lying, but anyway, five grand wasted. <laughs> it's not wasted. It's, not wasted. it's health. You said it's five, five grand on your health. I'll tell you what, it's not wasted. sat here. Just look at it. Look at it. But when you get on it... Okay, it's so it's carbon. So it's a full carbon. So, shall we? Uh, yeah. 10 four, 10 four, carbon check, please. Yeah, go ahead. Roger that. D is that how you know? Definitely. <laughs> how else would you know? Yes, it's carbon. <laughs> Oh, it's carbon. You've got a carbon one. Never told me that. Very light. It's a bit old, Archie. Okay, it's fine. Right, but you are far. I know. You are a lot faster than me. Okay. Uh, what else then? What else have we got? So we've got, all, uh, we've got electric gears. So... Yeah, it's all electric gears. Yeah. So it's electric gearing. So that's actually quite cool. So that moves... The, oh, there you get that little motor down there. electric. Uh, no, is that a cable? Uh, not sure. Power cable. I don't know. Yeah. We but, know nothing about cycling. That's but anyway, it make a noise. Woo! Careful, you run out of battery. I oh, know, you, you don't want that because then you've got no gears. No. Uh, we have a Wahoo Dash, that's also very yeah, cool. That I'm, is I'm, sick. I'm, I like I'm, that. I'm actually not being paid to say this as well, but anyway, we can turn it on. Uh, so that helps you with that. It's best they do it when they don't see our stats. When they don't see our stats, but I did average over 30, 30 kilometers an hour for an hour. Work that yeah. one out. So, how far, if that was a school riddle, uh, Archie Hamilton cycled at an average pace of 30 kilometers an hour. How far did he travel in the hour? I know. Yeah. <laughs> that is so good. That is so simply good. I know. Like <laughs> uh, oh and then, okay, wait. Put That's the, a wheel, Archie. Brakes on, brakes on, brakes on. 10 4 receiving, go ahead. Brake. Carbon wheels. Carbon wheels. That is something you've absolutely ended me on, and I'm looking for a set. Yeah, carbon wheels. So it is actually a really good bike, full carbon, and it is absolutely awesome. You get all your display on here. I know some people might not be interested in cycling, but I do this every day. I do about 30 kilometers a day, and I really like it. It keeps you so it sane. Keeps me, f in, these current, in this current situation I've been in, life this lifesaver. And I wanted to share it, because every single day last week, I've done 30K, and it has changed my life. Have I already scratched it? 
Yeah, of course I have. But apart from that, it is mega. I think actually, you know what? When you're touching that, we joke, we laugh at videos and stuff. Yeah. Something we don't really address on channels and stuff. Mental health is obviously really paramount and important at the moment. Yeah. Not least for someone in your position, Archie. We won't dwell on that. But yes. anyway, alas, yes. exercise is free. And genuinely, even if you don't like cycling, you didn't like cycling or really the thought of it. No. As soon as you started, you were hooked. I know. It's not even a luxury. It's a necessity at times like this. Because it has helped me with your mental health and it gets you going and I, I really like it. Takes me to a different place. So that's can't why explain I, it, can you? No, you can't actually explain it. Take, health is wealth. And I know you're doing a lot of stuff on mental health. We'll talk about that shortly. Uh, but anyway, we're going for a 30 k -er, and then we're gonna go see your Lamborghini. But this is five best five grand I've ever spent. Do you know the good thing about bikes as well? It's never, that's never gonna be heavy or rubbish. And it's, is it going down in price or going up? If you say 2024, we know what that means with prices. Yes. You can flip it if you want to, but don't. No, because Sigma in Hampton will never give me another one. Just finished, and there you go. 32K, Aaron 4, 32 kilometers, max power 894, calorie. Oh, I can't breathe. What's the problem, mate? Oh, I can't breathe. There you go. Now we've come to. Uh, well, I've actually forgot my camera, haven't I, James? I'm on my phone. Yeah, you're on your phone, but you can improvise and adapt. I can improvise. You would always overcome. Overcome. It's good to be here. I mean, wow's even funnier when there's a guy in front of you nearly getting one over. Um, um, mate, welcome. Welcome, I should be welcoming you. Welcome into your SV. Yeah. Oh, mate. All it, aboard. Oh, it's so cool. It's good, isn't it? It is very, very cool. From cycling to SV. Uh, tell us all about it, because my viewers might not know, uh, I'm sure they might know you have it, but how did it all come about? You've got an SV. Yep. You've got a long wheelbase Range Rover. Yep. You've got an M3. Yeah, one of the last of the V8s, a limited edition one of those. I think it's just a cool car. The last of the V8, which yeah. is very, very cool. And just yeah. a TTS as a little runaround. And a TTS as well. a runaround. Manual, tuned, it's just cool, just something different. From DMS. Yeah, yeah DMS. Um, nice. Yeah, tell us about this. Well, I had a Turbo S before. I don't know if they know, but if they don't, you oh, do now. They must I had a 991.2 Turbo S, which is quite well known, I guess. It was made a loud noise and was really quick. It was loud. Um, it was loud. We had some good times in Monaco. If yes. you haven't seen the video, I strongly urge you to watch that because that's probably one of the all time greats. Yes. Um, and before that, I'd had a Hurricane. I've had a few cars. But the SV, I know TG had one, it was always a grail car, just something I needed to tick. Uh, V12, never had a V12. Just wanted something that really was like. You know, in a, in a league, I think in a league of its own in terms of a sense of occasion, sense of drama, sense of noise, presence, just everything. Everything. And I know it's not as comfortable as a Turbo S, and I know it's not as um, easy to drive and jump in and go, but I wanted to experience it. No, but it's 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 different. It's like it's sat here in traffic, where it's it's a. Yeah, there's. I don't think there's anything on the same level of like hell as this. No. So yeah, that's how it came about really. It was, um, you know, something I wanted to do um, and did at the beginning of this this summer. Not had a huge amount of use out of it, but you know, it makes every hour of working, when you go in it, even if you go in it for 20 minutes, it just it, makes everything worthwhile, doesn't it? Right, yeah, exactly. So, um, well, that's how I think anyway. That's how you think, I'm, yes. I'm a bit odd, but okay. that's what happens, it's cool. So yeah, that's what- Are you gonna keep it? Um, I don't know, I'm having thoughts. I don't use it a huge amount, and that's in the summer when the weather's been good um, and I'm just contemplating at the moment whether it's going to get any use at all in the winter or yeah. from a strategic point of view our car price is good at the moment would someone else be able to get some enjoyment like, out of like it like what I did quite exactly jumped what you out, did yeah. jumped out yeah and would someone else be able to get like a nice amount of use out of it and enjoy it I see what you did there you went to neutral is yeah. that something you have to do you don't have to do it but I just don't want to sit on in, on in the gear yeah. yeah why not look after your, um, yes. your assets you know so okay. That's where I'm at. No, de no, no definitive decisions being made, um, but I am thinking I'm not going to use it a huge amount in the winter. Mind you, they're good news, SVs. 
260 you were saying they're roughly at? Yeah, 260, 270, 275, depends really where you're getting it from, what the spec is, what the colour. For me, this is perfect. Comfort seats are very rare in these, and now people have come to yeah. know that the Lambo buckets of this era were extremely, I think, uncomfortable. Yes. And therefore, for me... Like sitting on the floor. I couldn't do this with buckets. I wanted I wanted a car with comfort seats. And I know a lot of people made that decision at Perfomantes as well. Yeah. They actively avoided buckets after specking them. People like, that's so uncomfortable. Yeah, I know, yeah. And that's where I'm at with it as well. So for me, an SV with comforts ticks all the boxes. Perfect. Call me crazy, call me mad. You're from a racing heritage, aren't you? Yes, 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 I am. Clues in the name. Yes. Yes. Uh, um, but well, you probably like comfort as well. I like it. I had comfort seats in the Evo. I've had comfort seats in, I think I had it in my Hurricane originally as well. So yeah, mm. very, very cool. Now tell us a little bit about you, because I think that's something which we're going to talk about. Before we get to me, this yeah. also has an option I haven't seen on another one ever. Well, I have seen it, but not for sale. And that it has the Lambo sports exhaust. Yep, sports exhaust, tick. And that's, I think, a 9 or 11K option. And if someone says you're going to have a sports exhaust on SV, say you're lying. They'd probably say you're lying, so it's got two massive tailpipes rather than the usual four, which I like. Oh, I'll have to show you that. Well, we'll get there and then, maybe a bit of B roll. And now tell us about you. So tell us what you do day to day then. So, yeah, I own um, London Muscle with TG. Yeah. Uh, fitness business. We do a yep. lot of different things from supplements to training plans to education to you name it. That's yep. what we do. Um, and then, yeah, we run educational courses up in central London, got a few other little businesses, do a bit of property stuff. Um, train a couple of clients, do mentoring uh, for business mentoring. Yeah, tell us about tell us about that because this is something which are we, are we allowed to talk about it? We're more than a, yeah, we're allowed you're, to talk about it. You just set up something which is yeah, you're, really busy, which is amazing. Yeah, just um, came about from people that requested it. To be fair, before I even set it up, and it was yeah. people that were looking for guidance, both in their personal life but also their professional or business lives. And there's a lot of people that are young and old that are self-employed and they've created their own business and it's a bit of a weird thing having to work for yourself and discipline yourself and structure your own business structure your own day plans and a lot of people feel quite lost or isolated or lonely and don't really know what to do and obviously there's a whole world of information around you know social media in terms of how you build it how you scale it how you etc etc et so yeah. all that kind of information whether it's business or whether it's trying to get some structure in your life or sense of purpose all that kind of stuff um, so I'm doing that with one-to-one -one clients which is I really enjoy it. Some amazing case studies already and testimonials of people that have jumped on board and, and doing really well already. So yeah. And mental health something which is uh, which we spoke briefly about in this video and that's yeah. something which obviously you're massively passionate about and obviously during, well I'll, I'll touch on it briefly, during my time recently which has been very 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 tough you you very much know you know guidance with all that sort of stuff. You'd been through something similar before yeah. something like that so I can really actually get how you can guide people through, if it's business, mental health, everything. Um, I'm yeah, try and be a, a wise old owl, really, and also yeah. just putting everything together. It's like you've got business, but you've got fitness. Yeah. And but not just fitness in terms of like you don't have to be into fitness, but fitness is part of life. I think is a necessity, right? Yeah. I mean, if you don't I mean, keep fit and healthy, then question. You know, what what are your priorities? For me, it's health. Then we look at wealth. But yes. health is wealth. And health is wealth. So now we we're having a little conundrum there and thinking, well, how do we do it? But it's getting the balance about everything. So that's kind of what I try and do uh, with a lot of people. But yeah. Was that, was that an answer we were looking for? Oh, I've really enjoyed that answer. Uh, and I know, I just thought I want, I wanted people and my audience to maybe see a different side to you, which they might not know. Yeah, yeah, might yeah. not know. They see the flashy cars, they see the, the, the stuff. But behind all that, there's actually an individual that's working hard, doing different things, yeah. and actually working hard to make yeah. it all possible. It's not just. Look at me, I'm Flash Harry. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's more very to that, and, and, to and you actually very rarely go around driving something like this. This is just very much a luxury. So I'm actually very happy with that. I'm very happy with that discussion. It's good. It's excellent. That's what I like to hear. So mate. what we're doing now, we're heading to Sigma and Hampton. We're going to have a little walk around a bike shop because we're going cycling tonight. We don't have any lights for our bikes. We're going to just have a little walk around and show a little bit of that. And it's just a little bit of everything. It's just I'm not actually buying this car. I'd probably use your car on the thumbnail. To well, get people I mean, in. You have and now to, they're in. Yeah, you have to be they're in. in. Yeah, you're in. They're it's, in. It's good to have a nice discussion. It's yeah. Good, it's good to be back on the channel as well. Well, welcome. Good, bloody good to be back on Just the channel. Bloody welcome. Yeah. Just positive energy. Yes. That's what it's about. Yes. What are you thinking about tonight's cycle? Hey. Are we fit enough? Oh. Are we making excuses already? My legs are tired. <laughs> 50k. I'm yeah. googling excuses already. Yeah. What are we first got? things first. I need a jersey. Yep. And I've actually made a made a beeline for this. Universal colours jersey. Universal colours. Yep. This is the colour I'm going for. Very nice. What do you think? I love Brown? it. I love it. Neutral. 
Neutral. Reflective stripe on the back. John, can you confirm, please? 10-4? Yeah. 10 10-4. This is John, main guy here. is paramount. Perfect. Ten floor, reflective stripe, added bonus, nice set of pockets, useful. What John, do you need? John phone, approves. keys. John approves. Yeah, and you also have, Archie, you, you have your phone and your keys. Perfect. And you use your phone, don't you, for an Uber because you can't hack the ride. <laughs> and then, right. <laughs> Anything else? Yes, I need some bib shorts. Because if you're just getting into cycling, by the way, this is consumer advice. I'm not an expert, John is, but I'm not. Yes. But I learned the hard way. If you don't wear padded shorts, yes. you will experience severe discomfort. Yes. Buy padded shorts. If you want children, buy padded shorts. <laughs> If you don't want children, stop wearing your padded shorts. Yeah? Yes. So I have no legs at all. No, so we know that. Size, any extra, extra smalls, John? Uh, no, okay, fine. Go ahead, receiving. Are you ready? I'm more than ready. Well, you better hope I am, because I've opened this door. Come on then. There'll be no problem. <laughs> Very good. Perfect. What do you reckon? I think it looks terrible. No? No, this looks good. No, very, terrible. I'm winding you up. Very if, good. If you didn't, I mean, apart from the fact you'll see when I'm on a bike and rubbish, but, I look at the park. The right? kit is actually awesome. Do you know what? This is the best fitting kit. John, I'm not just saying it for your sake. I think the brown's quite, I think it goes with the tan. Very good. The kit well is amazing. Universal colours. Yep. Very nice. These fit really nice. Very nice. That pad feels substantial. Anything else you want? No, that's more than, more than ample, I think, for, uh, we're actually doing a cycle tonight, aren't we? So I think I'm going to give these a good old, John, yeah, will people judge me if I turn up a new kit? Is that a thing? Will I look like a novice? New kit's best. best. New kit's best. New so kit's best. Tonight. 50k tonight. Ready, steady. Oh yeah, no, I feel supple with these are cheap. To leave, we're backing up the SV. Something beautiful We got pulled into the tide of something real